Welcome to the second of two tools demonstrating the standardized tool set. This video presumes that you followed the steps outlined in video number one and have successfully created and edited a lookup table containing your standardized attributes. In this video, we'll demonstrate how to execute the second tool in the standardized tool set to achieve your final results and how to apply standardization to multiple fields. Let's get started. So here we are in our catalog. We have a completed lookup table for street type existing here and our feature class containing the field to be standardized here. Our toolbox for ArcGIS 10.3, which is the version of ArcGIS that we are using, exists here. Let's open up the second tool, which is the standardized by table tool. We'll use this tool to consume the lookup table and apply the standardized attribution to a copy of the feature class's original field. Our input feature class will be the test parcels dataset that contains the field that we wish to standardize. Our input lookup table will be the lookup table that we just completed. Our feature class join field will be the field that we wish to standardize. In this case, we're using street type. The lookup table join field will be the correlating field within the lookup table that contains the unstandardized domains. In this case, we're using street type. The lookup table standardized field will be the field that we just edited within the lookup table containing the standardized domains. In this case, we're using street type ST1. Give your output feature class an appropriate name. Press OK to execute the tool. Upon completion of the tool, check the output The brand new field within your feature class containing the standardized domains will exist at the end of the table. In this case, the name of this field is called street type underscore st2. Sort of sending to take a look at what fields were appropriately standardized. It looks like our standardization was a success. Here's a recap of our two tool cycle. We use our input feature class within the create lookup table tool. The output of this tool is a lookup table containing a blank field. Within the newly created lookup table, we open ArcMap and begin an editing session. We populate the blank field with the appropriate domains to be written to the new feature class. The newly edited lookup table is now consumed by tool number two, along with the input feature class. The output of tool number two is a brand new feature class containing a new field that contains all of the appropriately standardized domains. Now that we've demonstrated one cycle of standardization, it is discretionary on how you would wish to apply this process to other fields in need of standardization. To achieve standardization on several fields within one feature class, follow the same cycle that we just executed within these two videos for each field needing standardization. Make sure to use the output feature class of each cycle as the input to the standardized by table tool for subsequent cycles. If you have any problems or questions, please refer to the troubleshooting section of the tool guide, which is linked in the description below. If you're unable to find a solution, please contact Cody C. or David Vogel at the State Cartographer's Office, and those contacts are in the description below. Thanks for watching.